So we're up to putting the air cleaner on. Okay. Hopefully this won't be hard to get the manifold on later. But to route this harness, this is what we have to do. Now from the manuals that I'm seeing, the clip has to go on the bottom air cleaner. Okay, I'm right. Boy, I don't like the idea that this thing can move up and down. It's actually got a slotted... It's slotted. Why would he have done that? I guess... I felt it necessary. Well, I'm going to put it all the way in a down position. So this is where it kind of gets tricky. Because... Um, and that threw a whole nother deal in for me, the manifold. I suppose I could put it on temporarily just to get everything kind of eyed up. Because I really want to get the harness on first. I'm discovering in order to get the air cleaner on, I have to put the manifold back on. Because manifold can't come off unless the air cleaner is not in a way obstructing it. So, I didn't really plan on doing this right here right now, but I will do it. And that will be fine with me. means I gotta get my gaskets, put my copper seal on them. Okay, so I put some copper gasket sealant on my intake exhaust manifold gaskets. These things are a bugger to get on just right too. Just like that. That one went on easy, the other one went on hard. That one right there. There. Alright, so the intake manifold gasket is all coated with that Permatex sealant. That's going on right there. That's a pretty close patch. I'm pretty impressed, actually. Okay, the carburetor is just a temporary thing right now because uh, I gotta get the linkage and everything else. But what I want to do is get that air box on. The carburetor determines how far down the box goes. It's going to even just finger start it. Okay. This goes right here. See, when you look at the carburetor and the air cleaner, how they come together, see how they can they go up, down, goes up. So we want her to be right about there, okay? Right about there. Let's snug this up. Okay, getting that air cleaner straight this way, and level with the carb. Kind of a little tough deal. But here we are, where we wanted to be to begin with, with this harness, okay? We have to bring that harness around that clip, okay? Which means I gotta bend, bend it a little bit, okay? Then we're gonna pull it behind the air cleaner. Wow, I wonder if I remember that right. No, it has to go just through the 
behind the air cleaner because there's no other way. Okay. I'm going to pull the thick part around and couldn't get to it. Just like this. Okay. Remember my stuff is nice. Okay. We're going to put it in that clip right there. Just like that. Make sure the stuff is straight as I can. Okay, remember, I'm not going to double check before I drive it home. I'm not pulling on it. Looks good to me. You can go like that. Forward, just like that. I'm gonna keep it a little slack. I'm gonna take this and push her in, just like that. I'm gonna take a screwdriver. Okay, I'm not I'm not pinching that too terribly bad. Not yet. like that. Still loose, but snug. Ain't going nowhere. Okay, in order to put the harness on in its area, because I don't want to pull, I don't want to cut too much off and find out that I'm short. I am short, but I don't want to find out that my harness is short. So, I have to put the gas tank on. Now, these brackets are a tad bit loose because I know that there needs to be some movement. So, as carefully as I can, Lord help me. Carefully as I can. Setting it right down where it belongs. As we all know, I'll paint. Okay, right there. So, I'm going to take my first. bolt and I'm just tucking the harness up there. Let's just get this bolt started. Okay. I'm going to go to the front on the other side. Tie it all up. There. Now I know I got the front ones on. Kind of like an indicator. Leave them loose. Okay. Then I got a harness clip over here. This is for the magneto kill switch. Okay. You don't see that on a harness diagram for the tractor because it's located in the manual where the where the uh, um. Magneto is not even by not even where it should be. Had the right here. I'm going to locate this one. Just about there with getting the harness routed. Um, kind of a bugger. Not a bugger. It's just you can't really do the harness unless you put the gas tank on. So it kind of it kind of dedicates you to doing it completely. Oops. 
think I'm forgetting something. These clips are numerous. And it's the weirdest thing because this clip goes there. It's got an extra big hole. Actually, yeah. Actually, what really goes there is a shutter. A shutter control. I gotta look again. I don't know if that belongs up there. That high. Nope, it belongs in the lower. I got a picture. It belongs in the lower one. Although I think it would be better on the upper. But. I see a picture of it that shows it on the bottom one, so that's what I'm going to do. Put it on the lower hole. Just snugged up. Now, there'll be a battery for the starter one coming through on this, too. This goes there. Boy, I think I like it better up on the top one. How about that, guys? I'm going on top. Right up on top. That's much better. I think that's much better. Okay. And this one's going to be helping to keep it all tight. Then the harness does a turn and comes back this way, right through here. Right underneath the battery box. But I think I'm done for tonight. That was a good movement.